What's up my pup peeps? I'm Kilo, the DIY dog, and today I'm stepping into enemy territory. My human helper's here, and we're gonna make some toys for our feline... friends? That's right, Kilo. We're gonna make some cat toys. Kids Pet Club loves all pets. All right, human, let's get this over with. I hope at least there's treats involved. The first toy we're gonna make is a cute little pipe cleaner spider. You need three pipe cleaners to make this toy. Cut two of the pipe cleaners in half and then twist the four pieces together in the middle. Wrap your third pipe cleaner around the center to make the body of the spider. Fan out and bend each of the legs in the middle to give your spider knees. Bend at the very tip of each leg to make a foot and boom, you have a cute little spider for your favorite feline to bat around. Oh perfect, this is gonna be fun. For the second toy, you need two pipe cleaners, a pom-pom or some feathers, and a pencil. Start by attaching the ends of the two pipe cleaners together and then wrap them around a pen or pencil to give them a spiral shape. Stretch them out and attach your pom-pom, feathers, or anything else that dangles to the end and you have a fun wriggly squiggly wand toy. Yeah, no, I'm not going for a human. These are cat toys for a reason. It doesn't even squeak! The third toy we're going to make is a little caged ball. Take a piece of tin foil and scrunch it up into a ball and then use one or two pipe cleaners to wrap loosely around the tin foil like a cage. Attach the loops of the cage together in a few points so the ball doesn't come out, but you can open up and close the holes by just adjusting where the lines sit. We made one small cage with a single pipe cleaner and a bigger one out of two. The last toy we're going to make needs a cork, some string or twine, and some feathers if you have any. Take the cork, which likely already has a hole in one end, and use the tip of a pen or a pencil to push the ends of your feathers, string, or paper in as deep as you can. Then, cover your cork with string by just wrapping it around and tucking in the end. This toy is super fun for cats to scratch and chase. Oh, let me have a go! <laughs> now let's let a cat have a go. Hey, Bean! Look at the mess she's making, leaving all those toys everywhere. That's all right, that's why there's a part two to this DIY, and that's making a box for all these toys to go in. Ha <laughs> I got a jar full of treats with my name on it. This cat just gets a box. You know, Kilo, cats are actually famous for loving boxes more than anything else. And I'm famous for being adorable, so what? Take an empty box with a lid like a shoe box or something and get some stickers and decorative tape to jazz it up. We used a sheet of glittery tape on the top of our box, some cheetah print tape to dress up the sides, and then some cute cat stickers to give it that extra pop. You can also use a chalk or a regular label to write your cat's name and make the box your own. Hey, let me have a look. And if you know anything about cats, he's about to get his favorite toy of them all, this box. All right, this one I can get on board with. And always be sure to supervise your cat when playing with toys, big or small. So that's it. I guess I'll cat you later, human. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Man, I'm funny. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.